Hi there. Welcome to Banana World Furthermore. When we played Beam Charles, we didn't have any idea what we were doing at that time. That was a free film. It proceeded to get selected for an Oscar. Then I get a call, and on the other end of the telephone, it says, Hello, Jamie Foxx. Who's this? This is Oprah. Good gracious, you're blowing it. Jamie Foxx. Gracious, truly? What's more, I said, all things considered. I'm please accept my apologies. What I really want to do, so she took me to Quincy Jones' home. The thing that caused a commotion with individuals was the point at which I dropped the data about Quincy Jones. This man was one of the mindful. He had a magazine funded by Warner Brothers that captured him. He set up certain strings in Hollywood. The Hollywood. Also, the explanation for why you don't have a clue about these accounts is that there's nobody to recount them to you. I know every one of the joke artists and entertainers' mysteries. Who's? Better believe it. Jamie Foxx is disturbed and similarly disputable. Comic Cat Williams has in the past designated entertainer an individual jokester, Jamie Foxx, during a stand-up gig in 2012, claiming that the entertainer is covertly gay and shooting him for playing a job in the racially charged flick Django, Unchained. Furthermore, presently, the wavy-haired rib wafer is once again at it once more, impacting the Grammy-winning vocalist for forfeiting his life distinction while performing at a show in Los Angeles very nearly 10 years prior. Cat let the group know that Jamie Foxx is gay. Who's gay? Jamie Foxx said the jokester. I could let you know the name of the man. He is an indicator. Indicator, kid. I know every one of the joke artists and entertainers' mysteries. Who's gay? Jamie Foxx. He goes by Marcus Anthony. He's the main man endorsed by Jamie Foxx's mark. The comic went on with an outburst against Foxx's F.A. Jamie Foxx. In the Django Unchained check he changed out, he said, adding, They offered me the content, and I said anyone who does this has the right to pass it on. Furthermore, the following thing I heard, Jamie Foxx was in cosmetics. He goes by Marcus Anthony. He's the main man, endorsed by Jamie Foxx's name. Look at it. Once more, what's more, presently... The humorist is back, blaming Fox for exchanging his spirit just to win an Oscar. In any case, frankly, his excursion to the top has been damaged by a few disastrous occurrences, provoking Cat to accept that he has for sure exchanged his spirit. A multi-talented star Fox started out in sketch satire prior to turning into an Oscar-winning entertainer. No women. Continuously, no. Ah. Uh, uh. Young lady, don't converse with her. Perceive how they generally know that. Be that as it may, I simply need to apologize. Come on, shake my hand. He started playing the piano early in life, proceeding to perform and lead the ensemble at New Expectation Baptist Church in his old neighborhood of Terrell, Texas. As a young person, he succeeded in ball and football prior to deciding to concentrate on melodic and performing expression structure at the U.S. Worldwide College in California. On a challenge, Fox surrendered his most memorable Stan parody execution at an open mic night in 1989. After two years, he joined the cast of Unfiltered and Fabulous, a sketch parody series that additionally highlighted Jim Carrey, Kim and Damon Wayans, and David Alan Greer, Carrey and Inaba, and Jennifer Lopez, additionally acted in the show's fly young ladies dance group First Thing, However Frankly. Yet, to be completely forthright with you, Jay, Lo is my home slice man. We began together on Unfiltered and Full of Life. I praise her, she used to say, Jay. Lo was in the crowd when Fox tried out for the Emmy-winning series. It was fascinating on the grounds that we were the two newbies on the show 
and I saw her, and I told her hello. I have a sweetheart, and not hitting on you, but rather you're the most gorgeous individual I've at any point seen -y. Reviewed to Yippie Diversion in 2020, yet we became companions since we were the freshmen on the show Fox stayed on unfiltered and full of life from season three to prepare for season five, preceding handling. His own sitcom. The Jamie Foxx Show, which he co-created with the WB Show and aired from 1996 to 2001, will, to the greatest extent possible, not exceed the equitable leniency. Entertainer framed a nearby bond with co-star Garcelle Beauvais on his sitcom, yet the pair were never more than companions. I naturally suspect me and you ought to have been together. Fox prodded during a 2020 appearance on the Hitting the Hay with Garcelle web recording. So every time I see you with somebody, I'm similar to damn, I screwed up. So every man I give them an actually, she's a tie look. It's amusing in light of the fact that when we cooperated, we had made a settlement that we wouldn't date since it would be abnormal. Bove dismissed the disclosure prodding, I feel it, and they feel it, while he and the Bravo star kept their relationship rigorously dispassionate. Fox has been engaged with two or three elite sentiments throughout the long term. He invited girl Corinne in 1994, with ex Connie Klein and girl Annie Lees in 2008, with previous sweetheart Christine Granis. The very much like me performer has never secured the bunch. Sources affirmed in Walk 2015 that Fox had been dating entertainer Katie Holmes for a considerable length of time, and the duo held their sentiment unnoticed for a very long time prior to tapping out. The Oscar goes to Jamie Foxx and Beam. In 2004, Fox won the Foundation Grant for Best Entertainer for his exhibition in the anecdotal film Beam in which he depicted the unbelievable performer Beam Charles. He has additionally been selected for a few different honors for his roles in movies. For example, Django Unchained, 2012, Just Kindness, 2019, and Soul, 2020. Somehow or another, Felines thinks every one of the hardships the entertainer has been going through is because of his obscure connections with the Hollywood elite. Fox got ruthlessly genuine during a sit-down at the 2018 Tribeca film celebration about the honor season he spent lobbying for Beam. The drawn-out discussion directed by virtuoso commentator Jack Morell found the Oscar champ glancing back at his vocation in movies, music, and TV. In any case, the most astounding goodie came when the entertainer conceded to being a humiliation for part of the 2004-2005 honors season, in which he at last won the foundation grant for best entertainer. What happened was that I didn't have a tick. I didn't have a team in LA and everyone had a tick. The weigh-ins had a group. It was like 9,000 of them. At the point when I was up for the Oscar, I didn't view it in a serious way by any means, Fox said. I thought it was absolutely impossible to win that. I took Oscar season as a reason to party. I was like, Grace, I am named. Break out the champagne and we should party. I had paparazzi on me, interestingly. I flew off the handle. I went to the brilliant globes and there was champagne included and I was simply unacceptable on the honorary pathway. I was ill-bred for the cycle. Fox went to the Globes with a companion and was designated for numerous honors that year on an honorary pathway. He and his companion were shouting the quantity of grants they were up for that night in a manner Fox said was very youthful. The entertainer said his marketing expert called him and shouted at him for his way of behaving telling the entertainer what's happening with you. You perceive how humiliating this is. You get an opportunity, yet you have to walk a specific way. Then, after, I get a call, and on the other end of the telephone, it says, Howdy, Jamie Foxx. So who's this? This is Oprah. The first individual to intercede and truly get Fox in the groove again was one celebrated news head honcho. The TV character called Fox and told him that he was blowing it. 
She told me, you truly have an extraordinary opportunity to accomplish something brilliant. What's more, the person you played contacted countless individuals, yet they did not assume that you behave this way, Fox said. The news tycoon had a thought for mediation. She welcomed Fox to a party at Quincy Jones' house. Fox said he met a few entertainers and entertainers he turned to as a youngster at the party, and they generally complimented him and said they enjoyed his work. In any case, she carried Fox to the party so he could meet one individual specifically. Sidney Poitier. Remaining in a tuxedo in the corner was Sidney Poitier, Fox said. I approached him, and he said, I watched your presentation, and I grew two inches. I leave you with one obligation. Fox pondered internally subsequent to hearing Poitier's insight. Goodness, no more get-togethers. I've got to get everything in order. Fox did exactly that. He wound up taking his girl to the Oscars and downsizing on celebrating. He wound up winning the Oscar. A second, right up to the present day, he actually alludes to his groundbreaking. In any case, since that evening, things have been terrible for Fox. Recently, the entertainer purportedly fell and was in the emergency clinic for quite a long time, in a real sense battling for his life. The Foundation Grant winner's little girl, Corinne Fox, made an assertion on Instagram on April 12th, the, uncovering that the entertainer was recuperating in the wake of confronting an unexpected issue the day earlier. We needed to share that my dad, Jamie Fox, encountered an unexpected issue yesterday, as shared by Corinne in an explanation composed for the benefit of the Fox family. Fortunately, because of fast activity and extraordinary consideration, he is now en route to recuperation. We know how darling he is and value your requests, the assertion read. The family requests protection during this time. Fox, who is set to star in the impending film Back in Real Life, Inverse Cameron Diaz got plenty of warm words from fans and loved ones when the second insight about his unexpected problem was disclosed. Stars, including Carey, Washington, and LeBron James, took to virtual entertainment to present recognitions to the entertainer, writing sweet feelings and inspirational statements as he meant. Furthermore, different VIPs near him, including Martin Lawrence, shared updates on his recuperation. The subtleties of Jamie Foxx's unexpected problem remained a secret for more than four months after the entertainer was purportedly hospitalized. Furthermore, to this end, Cat Williams thinks those foxes who offered their spirits have come to gather. Also, after half a month of issues, the entertainer at long last ended his silence. Since becoming sick, Fox had been staying under the radar, just posting a couple of enigmatic messages via web-based entertainment while his little girl, companions, and co-stars gave updates on his circumstances. Yet, as of late, Fox has revealed more about what he went through and how he is doing in an Instagram reel. Nobody real 